G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and today I'm here with another Photoshop Elements tutorial. In today's video, we're back in Photoshop Elements Organizer and I'm going to show you how you can safely and simply delete a scrapbooking kit from your stash. Over the years, we all collect way more digital scrapbooking kits than we could ever, ever possibly use. And there's some things that you've actually used a lot and you probably don't need to keep anymore. So how do you go about deleting them without leaving disconnected files and making a big giant mess in your stash? Well, here's how. If you want to remove a kit from your scrapbooking stash, you can do that using the folder view in Photoshop Elements. So by default, you see the albums view in Photoshop Elements Organizer. But there's another button here you can click on. Click folders and then click view as tree. Now, if you view it as a list, it's going to be pretty confusing to look through, um, I find. But you can always do it if you want. This is what it looks like as a list. And every subfolder has its own entry. To view it as a tree, you get a better idea of where exactly all the files are. So for me, I know that there's some kits I'm just never going to get around to use. I have 1.5 million Christmas kits and I know that I prefer the clear brights. So this kit needs to go. I'm going to right mouse button click delete folder and I'll choose also delete the folder from the hard disk. And there we go. I'll show you again, delete folder, also delete the files and folders from the hard disk. And that means that we are actually removing the files and putting them in the recycling bin. I'll show you. So these are the last remaining folders in that Christmas kit. Click OK. And now when we go back over here, it's removed. Let's show you that again. And it's gone. And now when I go to my recycling bin, you'll actually see those four kits are now in the recycling bin and I can restore them from there if I want to. Personally, I have a couple of things that I consider when I think about deleting my kits, which I honestly don't do very often. I think about how much time will it take me to go through my stash to find the kits and delete them versus how much hard drive space do I have? So for me, all of my digital scrapbooking kits are kept on this data drive, not on my main hard drive where my computer programs run. Data drive has got plenty of space. So for me right now, it's not a real pressing need to delete digital scrapbooking kits off my computer because I just have plenty of space. But I know that's not the case for any, everyone. So another way that you can go about finding kits to delete is just going back to your all media view and scrolling back to the oldest. So now the default view in Photoshop Elements is sort by newest to oldest. So I've just scrolled way back to the oldest supplies I've got in my stash. I've got some templates and some documents like these old, do you remember these that you used to get on your, um, with your digital kits? <laughs> they were so old, hey? So we can scroll backwards in time and see the things that we're probably not going to want to use. If you then decide, okay, well, this kit, I'm probably not going to use it. So you go, you look at the paper and you go, mm, probably wouldn't use that kit. So right mouse button click and say, go to folder. And then that will show you the whole folder. And usually beside it, you'll see the other other kits. And if you think that's not something you're going to use, you can just go ahead, delete the folder and delete the files from the hard drive and then they're gone. So 
if you do decide that you'll just rather look through your scrapbooking kits yourself and delete them um, manually from this side, I mean, you can you can do that, but you'll end up with some unlinked files. So delete this one. And I go back into Photoshop Elements and I can scroll down to where those are. Then when I try to open them, they'll tell me it's a missing file. So I can just cancel. And then what I need to do is just delete the items from the catalog. And you see now it's updated and it's found, it's grayed them all out because they're not available. Just press Control A, select them all, delete. Don't try to delete them from the hard drive because they're already gone, obviously. And then that just solves your problem. So I don't suggest that you go ahead and delete things directly from your hard drive, but if you do, this is how you can get through that issue. Now, of course, if you have got files that you want to move, you can definitely do that through just clicking and dragging on the folder. So for example, let's show you this one. We'll just move it down. You do have to wait quite a while for it to pick up that you're moving it. And then you can just drop it there and it'll be there. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you're going around as part of the great stash bash and cleaning out some of your supplies, this is how you can do it and not end up with disconnected and confusing um, files that shouldn't be in your catalog anymore and how you can move around your folders. If you'd like to learn more about organizing your supplies in Photoshop Elements Organizer, I have a great new class, Get Organized Supplies, where I take you through a five lesson boot camp in getting your supplies organized. Head to digiscraphq.com slash go supplies to find out more. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you'd like to learn more about digital scrapbooking, all Photoshop elements, head to digitalscrapkinghq.com.